ladies and gentlemen, it's Mari Torres Lee from VIM 3D Radio, and that's my word, 3D Show. Um, I am talking about, y'all already know, you hear the music, everything is cool. It is the Smokies 40-Day Prosperity Plan, and this is day number four for me. Um, every day I start my day with, I am impeccable with my word, I honor what I speak, I take nothing personal, I accept all in love, I don't assume, I clarify for complete understanding, I do my best, I give my all to everything that I do. And then I do my to-do list, I meditate over it, I set my intention, and I design my day. And um, this has been a really, really uh, eye-opening journey. Uh, every single day right now the thing th the first one that I'm working on is being impeccable with my word and I want to be impeccable with my word for myself so when I say that I'm gonna do something I better be sure that I'm gonna do it because this is not about accountability for anybody else this is about accountability with me and God and that's what it's all about so you know some people would say well why do I have to write things down why do I have to you know I already know what I do you know we don't even know what we did yesterday if we don't write things down we don't you know we don't practice that memory we don't practice being able to you know pull out information exactly what we need at exactly the time the, the time when we need it so writing in a journal keeping a record of where you are what it is that you're doing what your intentions are it just helps you to program it further in your mind uh, the one thing that I love about Smokey's 40 day prosperity plan is that it has the basic elements of it is the you know you have to have these four agreements every single day you have to do your contract in the beginning of your of your commitment and you really work with this as it works for you as you would do it it's important in these plans and anything that you're going to be able to do something that works for you that flows with who you are and that makes sense for you that's what this is all about is about finding out you know exactly who you are this is the year of realization so we're finding out things about ourselves that we didn't even know existed and I'm finding out things about myself every single day more and more and it's like you would think it's like all right I've lived enough life I, I pretty much know who I am and how I function but no the deeper you get the deeper you go you know so the more you learn yourself the easier it is for you to be able to have the things that you want because when you show discipline and commitment passion focus then you're able to you understand what it takes um, what happened to me I had this this was on day two of the challenge day two of the prosperity plan um, my daughter said that she was gonna work out with me and her her um, her I, th I think we talked about that before but okay so look at the last one sometimes they all you know come together but basically what I wanted to say about that is that you know she had to be held accountable for what she said she was going to do. And it wasn't up to me as a mom being like, oh, well, you didn't do it, so now you're punished. It's like, no, why didn't you do what you said you were going to do, and how are you going to fix that? It, it really, it's really not necessary to have all of the emotion in the training of your children, in the, you know, in the training of your family, in, in the discipline of your family. It's, it's really about you, know, you being able to give ask, them I would say ask them in what they want for themselves. Mhm. Mm and you know I mean? and that's pretty much what we do. We ask our children what, you know, is this was that good enough for you? Did you do your best? And because the thing about it is is that they have to confront who they are. You know, they confront in front of us and they could do whatever, but when we're not in the picture, they're still faced with the situation. They're still faced with the issue. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you have to, and not just the children, we're all learning, you know what, face what it is that you are, face where it is that you are, and deal with it as it comes. Don't worry about what's going to happen next week or what happened last night. How are you dealing with your life right now? You know, take a hold of that reality. Who are you? 
You know what I'm saying? It's like stop fronting for other people because it's not necessary. There are people that believe in a saying, and I got to tell you, it's time for us to let this go. Fake it till you make it. Don't fake nothing till you make jack. Because fakeness comes through and everybody sees it. The only person that you are lying to is yourself. We are living in an age where right now a liar is a liar and we can see you a mile away coming. So when you open up your mouth to speak, if you were not... Scratch a lie, follow the thief! When you open your mouth to speak... <laughs> Is a yeah, there it is. And it's just really that simple. And it's really sad that some people think they go around lying and fronting. And, you know, they think that nobody knows. They think that they're really fooling somebody. And what what really is happening, I'm, 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 okay, I'm going to give it to you, like, for real, for real, just in case you didn't know, what's really happening when people are looking at you like, oh, oh, uh-huh, uh -huh, yeah. They don't even care about you enough to tell you, look, quit lying because I already see you. You don't have to do that with me. It's not necessary. They're not going to do that. They're going to let you, they're going to see who you are and they're going to see that you think that they've been fooled. But your experience is going to show you that you didn't fool nobody. Where are you? Look at your surroundings and look at your life. And that's going to dictate exactly what, you know, that's going to show you exactly where you've been and where your choices have brought you. Where your choices have bought you. Um, in this 40 day. To prosperity plan. I am learning that every day. Is something new. And that every day there's something else about me. That I get to explore. And once I explore it. I get to look at it and be like. Oh that was cool. Or oh that was not. That was not cool. That was not fathy at all. I'm not feeling that. And then I get an opportunity to change what it is that I didn't like or what it is that I did like, do more of that. You know, today I was I was impeccable with my word. I like that. So tomorrow I'm gonna do more of that. I'm gonna be impeccable with my word. Um, today I did not I didn't go off on anybody. But I, I never really do. You know what happens with me is that I go off on people in my mind and then I feel bad about it because I feel like, well, why should I go off on them in my mind? I shouldn't feel that way. And I learned from Sensei Ray. He gave me a good word today. Thank you, Sensei Ray. That um, it's okay for me to feel the way that I do. Just because I want to kick your ass, it don't mean I'm going to kick your ass. It just means I want to kick your ass. But see, I know better, and I know that that is not going to serve me any good. So I don't take any action upon that emotion. I don't take any action upon that feeling. But me wanting to kick your ass? Oh, no, that's perfectly normal. Because, see, you shouldn't have acted ignorant. See, if you wouldn't act ignorant, I wouldn't want to whoop your ass. But since you acted ignorant, then that made me want to whoop your ass. But I didn't whoop your ass. So, see, that's okay. It's good because I have self-control and I'm able to identify with the fact that I have an emotion that what somebody does causes me to want to whoop their ass. But the fact that I am adult enough and grown enough and cognizant enough to understand that whooping somebody's ass is not going to serve me well. Now, don't get it twisted. If... I need to defend myself. That is a different reason why you put the ass whooping on somebody. But you don't just do it just because you can. You know, matter of fact, knowing that I can makes me calmer. and makes me be able to rationalize my feelings and, and deal with my feelings of wanting to. And understand that it's okay for me to want to as long as I don't do it. That's that's the only thing that matters. You know, whatever thoughts, you know, we, we shouldn't be incarcerated by our thoughts. You know, just because you have a thought to do something that's, you know, crazy, there's nothing wrong with thinking crazy thoughts. I think about crazy stuff all the time. But now, are you acting on that craziness? And is that craziness causing a disruption um, to somebody else's life? There's a difference. And we're at the point now where we're, we're grown. We're human beings. We have all of the ability to discern all of this stuff. And I ain't going to say not one more thing because I said that I wasn't going to go over 10 minutes on my video for this manifestation thing and I meant what I say and I mean what I say and I'm being impeccable with my word so I'm not going to do it so I'm going to go ahead 
and say goodbye as soon as oh 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 wait what happened my theme music my theme music oh here we go oh wait no I got it thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me um it's 10 minutes and 35 seconds um but I'm gonna make sure I keep it under 10 minutes next time I love you adios Namaste. Namaste.